Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hey everybody, got a question? Go to assholeconsulting.com where we will take care of you, do the research, charge you up the ass for it, but we'll give you the truth. Uh, Tony Wright. Tony Wright. Dear asshole, glad to see your business is running well. Here's my question. What is your opinion on online universities? How can anybody get a STEM degree with an online study program? <clears throat> Does an online institute have a major impact on employer pro employment prospects? Love to see your opinion. Please make a video. All right, well, very short and sweet. Now, my personal opinion on online universities is they should be the only universities in existence right now. Um, the technology exists that the brick and mortar universities are completely outdated and obsoleted. We shouldn't even have physical high schools or elementary schools. Uh, we should be saving ourselves trillions of dollars, just like we should with telecommuting. We shouldn't have a commute. Pretty much all white-collar workers should be working from home, and the same concept should be with children. All children should be at home learning, uh, and then you might have a little bit more stable families, yada, yada, yada. So that's my opinion. I think online universities are great. Um, <clears throat> I think society is dumb and stupid for just dragging its fucking ass I mean, like, when the car came around, people were like, Oh, no! Oh, not a car! Oh, no! We want to keep our horse! And what, the telephone? No! No, let's keep sending smoke signals. But apparently, Americans are getting dumber. We, we just insist on just bending over and taking it up the ass, paying high tuition and high property taxes, so we can go to brick-and-mortar schools and universities. So I am very, very pro-online, and I, I think it's going to be the future, uh, frankly, because you're not going to have a choice. Uh, now, how can anybody get a STEM degree with an online study program? Actually, I did a little bit of research, and there are more online class or online universities that are accredited than you think. Uh, the two that are most prominent in my mind, because I think they were kind of the original ones, was Western Governors University and ASU, Arizona State University Online. Um, now, uh, since then, more have come uh, into existence. I'll provide a couple links. Um, but the problem you're going to run into is if you search accredited online programs every school claims to be accredited by the dipshit fuck you up the ass accrediting board uh... it is the regional accrediting accrediting agencies that determine whether you're a real college or not uh... there's six in the united states you can look that up i'll also be providing a link to the department of education's link that will say you know it has the list of the accredited institutions but for stem you want the abet which is what the hell they call it. Oh, come on. I took my notes here. The Accreditation Board for Engineering and Technology. That's the one that you want to look for at a thing. So, when you do your own research or if you follow one of the links I provide above, and it has all this list of all these um, um, IT STEM colleges and degrees, you're going to want to double check and make sure they have their ABET because they're all going to claim they're accredited. All right? They're all going to claim like me. I'm going to claim I'm a handsome, intelligent guy. That doesn't make it true. So you make damn sure that they are accredited before you sign up for it. Um, <clears throat> what else? The, another problem you're going to run into is, especially when I did a quick perusal of all these um, STEM programs being offered, they either offer a, a, an associate's, a very generic STEM IT type um, uh, degree or master's in advanced courses. I don't see a lot of bachelors of science in electrical engineering, bachelors of science in computer science. I didn't see a lot of that. Uh, of course, this is in part probably because of the hands-on nature of engineering, but if you're in computer science or the computer sciences, <clears throat> unless you're building the actual computers, all that is on fucking lines. I don't see why that would, that would really have an effect uh, there as well. Now, as to your concern about the opinion or reputation of online universities, um, it's, it's kind of interesting because, once again, the research has shown something very interesting. There is a slight disadvantage to attending an online university. And I think this is in part because of the DeVries, the Phoenixes, these bullshit, you know, Strayer, these bullshit fly-by-night, unaccredited piece of shit uh, online uh, colleges. Any day, one time, everything online. What? Set yourself free... National American University. These fucking shitbag colleges. Um, 
uh, have ruined the reputation or tarnished the reputation of legitimate online uh, programs. So there is a little bit of a twinge, uh, uh, but it's becoming more accepted simply because it's cheaper and a lot of students saying, fuck you, we're going we're going to do this. We're going to go do this online university. The other thing that's very interesting is most employers don't know it's an online university unless it says online. Like, let's say you attended Arizona State University online. Don't put online. Just put Arizona State University. They, you don't have to let them know it was an online program. Uh, so simp I, I hate to say it's something as simple and stupid as this, but if the college, the college could be accredited to have ABET certification, but if it's, you know, electrical engineering online uh, university, I would go to Johnson University and it could all be online, but you don't tell them that. You don't put that in your resume, only if they ask. So it's like being gay in the military or being gay and married to your wife of 40 years and you have grandchildren. So. Um, in any case, so yeah, I, I would do your research, make sure you get into an accredited program, find a degree that is, as some of them require you do have some physical attendance, but absolutely, man, this is the way to go. Um, it isn't MIT, it isn't Cal State, uh, but I think, I, I don't think there's that much, there's a slight drawback, and if you go to a, a genuinely accredited one, it is an accredited degree, all right? And, and I, you know, for example, pr another perfect example is, I have a degree in finance. Well, technically, no. I have a degree in business with an emphasis in finance. But people just said, oh, Bachelor of Science in Finance. I'm like, yeah. Uh, because it, it's it's simply a, a, a nomenclature, all right? So you don't mention it's it's an online program. You just say, I, got, I went to Western Governors University. I went to ASU. You don't say online. So, anyway, I hope that helps. Tools.